evening all and welcome to season five of factory town yes we are starting the brand new season today uh, we are going to start a whole new map and uh, do things a little bit differently for this playthrough what i want to do is go advanced mode and uh change some of these settings to have something a bit more a bit different a bit different and uh I've been playing with them and trying things out, and uh, I have a scenario set up. Well, not a scenario, because uh, we're on default for it. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to go playing, we're going to go to Desert Cliffs as our starting zone, and in available vibes, we're going to go none. So that puts the whole thing as Desert Cliffs, like so. Uh, we're going to set the, leave the map size on medium. Uh, resources, I'm going to set to concentrated. That means there's fewer of them, but more of them. So, we might have to go out searching a bit further away than uh, we would do normally. Uh, no creative mode, no influence, no auto put the base down. Blah, 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 blah. Our seed is going to be one, two, three, four, four. No, it's not. No, it's not. Sorry. I wrote the seed down. The seed's going to be 99. Oh. And uh, we're going to edit the map. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off that noise. I'm going to turn off that noise. We've just got this one here. And in super flat, we're going to turn the uh, horizontal scale all the way up to 200 and the vertical scale all the way up to 200 or 25 I should say like so and then when we go back we have a desert island look at that look look we have a desert island let's uh, move that out of the way there um yeah we've got a desert island with a cove resources placed around you will notice there's only trees in the center place here because on desert maps you only get trees in the starting zone starting tile we can plant trees elsewhere that might be a problem um but basically what i'm going to do with this map is uh we're going to try and not terraforming we don't have massive amounts of land so we have to be careful we, we're going to try not to terraform we might terraform a little bit um like for instance i might terraform some of these down a little bit here because we've just got a hill here which uh other than that the terrain's pretty even it's pretty flat it just goes around here so we might we might terraform out but i'm not going to terraform too much of it just a little bit here and there um but we're going to do very short conveyor belts the the only length i'm really going to allow conveyor belts to be is say five at the most and uh let's let's get into the game and uh let's see what's going on so that that's that's the settings for it um starting biome is desert cliffs available biomes are none so you do, you can choose desert cliffs as well if you want to it's exactly the same um and uh concentrated resources random seed is 99 and in the edit map turn h scale and v scale up all the way and turn the two noises off you can turn some of these on and you get weird things like this happen we get a that go on but I, I like the cove I like the big cove so yeah let's create and here we go yeah that's why the trees are cut off here because you won't get any trees in another in a uh, another tile only the starting tile so yeah so what I mean by conveyor belts is um if we had say well let's let's put down our, our base shall we um we want stone and we want a bit of wood. So we could put it here. Uh, we could put it here. We'll put it here. There we go. Stone, wood. That looks good. Bob. There we go. And uh, we'll start these people doing stuff as I'm chatting away. So. There we go. Two gram wood, two gram stone. That's happy. Um, so, what I mean by the conveyors being shorter is that. Um, if we have a barn, which we don't have unlocked yet, but um, if, if we had we had our building here, um, and its output would go, say, five tiles, so one, two, three, I can do roof above. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. It's very difficult to see that. But one, two, three, four, five, and then it goes into a barn, and that's it. That's all we can do. The exception to that might be if we're spreading it like three ways, so when we're using the magic rechargers, they might be six or seven long, but they, they won't be going vast distances. We won't be having it major. I will be using shoots to go a bit further than that, particularly when we use foresters in here, because we have a forester in the middle of a forest and then 
have a shoot come out of it to go somewhere. Again, won't be across the map, won't be major, it'll just be a little bit. So that's the idea, that's the idea. So it encourages the use of trains a lot, which is what I'm going to do. We also, as I said, don't have much space. Got to remember, this is going to be the right thing. We'll, we'll eventually buy all the tiles. So, uh, yeah, there's a, a different a different way of playing it. And uh, the desert island is different. The, the, the yellows, everything's so green normally, so we're going yellow. But we will be having, we will be planting stuff. So I'm going to choose an area and plant loads of trees down and then like choose an area for iron and so on and so forth. And I uh, don't know what the goal is going to be. Probably won't be major happiness. Probably just be up to uh, maybe get the, the Omni Temple again and do something there. I think with it. But this one we're going to make it look nice. The, the town's not going to be a big plonked area. It's just going to be houses with decoration. That sort of thing. That's what I want to do. Something a bit different. You know, something. I think. Just, yeah. But uh, but we need to start the normal way we would start, which is uh, gathering some resources, which we have plenty of now. Building a couple of houses. So let's. Uh, Let's build ourselves um, two, three houses. There we go. We're going to start making it look, look better. There we go. It's a bit individual houses going on there. That's quite cool. Uh, so we can hire some more workers and uh, we can start people buying goods. So you. Oh, you. That, that doesn't work. Oh, okay. Brain. Green and green, and there we go. They'll start buying things from us, which is which is quite cool. Uh, workers cost money. Yeah, they cost five gold. Ah, that would be why I gold it now. That's uh, your standard sort of start going on there. Uh, I'm trying to remember because it's been quite a long time since I've done anything like this. So uh, uh, we need lumber, don't we, as well? So we're going to need lumber. So let's get a lumber mill going. And we'll put him just there. There we go, we've unlocked loads of new stuff. Awesome source. Got a couple of park benches. Cool. They're the sort of things I want to put in. I want, I want to put in some decoration. Get a couple of things going. Uh, right, you are going to um, take wood into the lumber mill instead. We're going to hire another worker. And you are going to take lumber to the base. I'm not going to sell the lumber just yet. Uh, how much lumber? 20 logs. Uh, I'll actually get you filling this up first and then we'll we'll do that later. Okay, but we can sell the lumber for... is it red coins? Yeah, it's red coins straight away. We don't need any red coins, so yeah. Um, What else have we got? We haven't got the market unlocked yet. We haven't got well anything really got a well to start off with which is interesting uh, oh I think that's put there because if you play on the desert map you wouldn't normally get water so yeah um, yeah so what we want really is we want the school don't we that's base level 3 base level 2 yeah, so we want to upgrade the base how do we do that we need 5 planks that's easy enough this is going to be a typical sort of starting way of doing things, it's not going to be anything dramatically different. Uh, you, you my worker friend. It'll just be, we'll be making things a bit more pretty and uh, working with more workers and more carts and wagons and things, they're going to be travelling around doing things. We do know that wagons have a problem when travelling very long distances, so if we do have to, before we get trains set up, have to travel from over here to over there, we might want to stop. So the wagons only travel so far, drop the goods off, and then another wagon picks up, and drops the goods off, and then another wagon. That sort of thing. Um, and I'm looking at it a bit more like, it's kind of like a desert island, but sort of Wild West-ish, where uh, you know, you'd have stops along the way doing things. So we might build a couple of towns and have um, distribution so we'd have like you know the forest is here doing their thing and then that splits off to go to like three different places so so yeah um might extend this beach out here might be an idea put some houses down on the beach some work from house house fronts there we can build that up and uh 
build, build a bit of a wharf or something. Don't know, don't know. Right, let's upgrade the base to level two. Ba bomb we have more houses. Excellent. That's good. Good. Our houses aren't currently buying anything yet. Um, have we unlocked? We, have, we haven't unlocked wagons yet. That requires a workshop. Um, the workshop we get now. Aha. Should we do that? Or should we, should we, we'll do the food market. We'll do the food market. Uh, we'll put the food market. Uh, let's, let's build another house. So we've got four houses. Them, and then there could be a path in between. And we'll put the food market there. That seems like a good idea. Food market. Doesn't require a worker. There. Awesome. Okay, so now you three um, are going to do something a bit different because we're also going to get ourselves a grain mill to make some flour. Yep, yep, flour. So you are to gather the grain into the grain mill. And you are to take the flour to the market, which will sell better. What stone are you taking? I want you to take that one. You are taking that one, good. Okay, you're doing lumber, that's good. That's good, that's all awesome. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, I don't think we really need a workshop, not yet. There we go. You're taking it to there and it's been sold for four gold instead. And we're keeping people happy. That's awesome. We could sell some wood to them, but we don't need any red coins just yet. So uh, we'll leave that on for the moment. Um, let's build the workshop. Yeah, let's build the workshop. We'll put the workshop next to the lumber mill for the moment. Um, stairs and fences and things. Awesome, awesome. Um, you are going to be making some wheels for us, I think, for the minute. And uh, we're going to put down some more houses. We could upgrade these, can't we? Yeah, we can. Yeah, let's do that. Let's upgrade these houses instead. Okay, we need more gold for that. That's fine, but that's a better use of space. Right, so if I say you take planks into there, then you take wheels to there. That should still work, shouldn't it? Yes, it should. Yep. Also, yes, right. Okay, and we can run a path down to there as well, just to make life a bit, a bit faster for them. And then once we get four wheels, we can build ourselves a wagon. Not that we need a wagon yet, but um, well, oh, they cost forty gold as well. Ooh, ouch. Uh, we don't have any crates or anything. When does a I would have thought a crate would have opened quite early on. It requires woodworking research. Hmm. Silo requires metallurgy. I really would have thought a crate would have opened up really early, but meh. Oh. Uh, so what does this need to upgrade? This needs 50 gold and loads of wheels. Okay, so we need to be selling more, more goods. Um, yeah. Okay, let's buy another worker. Uh, we'll get you in the grain as well. So we've got four. Four workers working on the grain. That's fine, that's fine. This needs three. So 
seems to be off on what's going on there. It is quite a distance as well. Maybe I should move it. Let's let's move it. Let's um move it closer to the green because it, it makes sense for him to deliver to it quicker. And for the guy that's delivering the uh, the stuff to take a long time to come back and forwards, pretty makes more sense. Overall, we end up with more more throughput doing it that way. So what else do we have in this area here? We've got berries and pears. Never really sold berries or pears to people. Uh, they are sellable. All the fruits that are there. Um, yeah, yeah, they are sellable. So we could get someone to go and harvest that or get a, a forester when we unlock that. Put it down here and get him to harvest all of these. Just sell the pears and the berries. That's a possibility. Uh, we've got some fish down here as well. They're, they, I don't think you can sell raw fish, can you? Fish can. Yep, yeah, you can sell raw fish. That's that's cool. Okay, raw fish and cooked fish. Yeah, cool. Right. Ah, there we go. Right, let's upgrade the base to level three. But bomb! Yay, we have a lot of paper. Whoa, whoa! Do people want paper? I don't know. No, they do not. What's that? Bandages? Nope. Okay, right. Paper is just for research, which is good because we need research. We need we need to do some research. So we have a school and we have a general store as well now. Let's get our school going. Let's. Uh, we want our school. We're gonna need wood. And other bits and pieces for this lumber. Um, I'm kind of going to use up all them trees there and here. Lots of sugar here. We could put a sugar farm in here. I think that's going to be the idea. Um, I am going to try and use resources where they are, but I'm not entirely right. I mean, like here, this corner, I can't really harvest all that there. So we might put a farm up here, but we will be just uh, filling it up, filling up per se of a. Uh, goods so let's uh let's get ourselves a um, school let's get ourselves a uh, um lumber mill we can't do that because we need more people right we upgrade yep upgrade you and we'll upgrade you and there we go we have four houses upgraded excellent and you need to take out that line and that whole line there which won't be a problem once we get the drills and stuff going. So get a lumber mill, put him, put him next door. It doesn't make any difference, I don't think, because uh, uh oh no, what we should do? Put him on that side. Okay, then we want to grab two workers there, one worker there. You two want to grab trees to there, and you want to grab paper to there. And you want to work on, I think, woodworking? No, that gives us a boat. Forestry. What do we want forestry? What do we need? We need woodworking for forestry. So, yeah. So, we'll do woodworking as the first one. Um, and you need a well. So, let's build ourselves a well as well. As well, as well, a well. Boom. And uh, we don't have any way of taking any stuff out of that, so we're going to have another worker. We can't afford that. <gasps> oh no! Well, luckily we can fix that by putting down some more houses. Three. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you're going to have to take out all them. So. Right. Oh. Yeah, there we go. That's been all good. They're getting more resources than, than they need, which is awesome. I could. I could tell all of you to just uh, supply 
that I'm familiar Whoa, no, 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 okay, scrap that, scrap that, scrap that. You're going back to your jobs, because if I tell them to supply it, they're going to go and pick up logs from here, rather than chop the trees down, which is a bit weird, but hey-ho, hey-ho. So we need more writing implements, so you need to do your job, work faster. Here we go. Awesome. And that could we've set the resources to be concentrated, you'll notice the trees have got like hundreds in them rather than just 50 or so that was on the previous one. I can't remember how many trees were in it, but uh Yeah, some of these trees are quite there. You can actually set it up if you if you drag them sliders that were on the creation screen, if you just drag them all the way up, you can have trees with thousands of wood in them. I think I saw one about two and a half thousand wood. Um so uh, yeah, that's not gonna not gonna break anytime soon. Right, forestry is done, so we want, uh, sorry, woodwork is done, so now we want forestry, that's the next one. And we need to be selling more goods, but we're not, we're not selling more goods, why are we not selling more goods? This, this is not, this has failed. Um, and I think, I think this is a situation where we should get a wagon, we can't afford a wagon. Alright, maybe we'll move this again. Move it sort of halfway, shall we? There we go, we'll, 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 we'll do that, we'll do that, move it halfway, maybe that'll help. And uh, we'll also build a little road. There you go. Let's see whether that's going to help with our process. I think it is. That's going to be going to be good. Right. You are actually struggling for trees now. Wow. Eh, not really surprising. You uh, are actually waiting for money. That's our problem. We don't we don't have enough money. So, okay. But we're uh, we're getting there. We're getting there very 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 slowly. Should have probably built more houses rather than upgrading the houses. Well, upgrading them is fine and and, and all, all wonderful. Um, it costs gold. It costs twenty gold to upgrade a house. Um, and building a house is doesn't, doesn't require any gold. It just requires some lumber. So. No, oh well, not a problem. Not a problem. We're actually out of um, planks by the looks of it. We're running low on planks. I think we're producing as many as we're using. I think that's the problem. So maybe we could do with another. We'll use our last blokey. Uh, we can't afford to buy one. No! No, uh, can I pause you? I can. Yeah, pause you for a moment. Give me, give me enough money to buy another worker, if you don't mind. Yeah, right. Worker. Um, you. No, you. Pick tree into there. Okay. So we're now capped on workers, so we need to put down more houses. If we want anything else, but, um, yeah. Yeah. Good start. Good start, I think. Slow. It's always slow to start with. Always, always that's that. With every game, it's always slow to start. Uh, what do we got? We've got a bit of iron up here. A bit of coal and some herbs. Some air stones. See, look, there's, there's 800 air stones there, which is awesome. Very concentrated air stones. That's, that's pretty good. That's a good place to put a mine, actually. Right here. That'd be a very good place. Coal, iron, and stone all in one. One place, that's good. Okay, fish, I think we can do that. A bit weird that fish still spawn, because now fisheries aren't a thing. So, you get fisheries now. Although, I think you can plank out to this and then gather fish by hand. So, that's probably why they spawn there. But, that's all good, that's all good. Yeah, I think we might, uh, Build this out. Have a desert. So have a have a beach, a beach front, and then make the water a bit sharper going down. So, but we'll sort that out. I'm just killing a bit of time waiting for things. Out. What do you need for the next upgrade? We need red coins. We need cloth, and we need stone brick. We are nowhere near any of that. We're producing 
none of that whatsoever. But that's fine. That's fine. Because really, every age I should be uh, researching everything that I can. Um, let's see, base level 4. So, uh, metallurgy or metallurgy requires a base level 4, which means that we can't do boat building or anything like that at all. We have unlocked a tree planter. Not what I wanted. Uh, I wanted. Oh, okay. And we've unlocked the forest there, but it didn't tell us we've unlocked the forest there. That's fine. Uh, we also need stone bricks, which needs a stone mason. Do we have a stone mason? We do not. Or do we? And I'm being blind. Stone mason is there. That requires masonry. So our next port call is masonry. Okie dokie. Uh, but what I mean is we, we can do all the researches for every research we can do, then upgrade the the uh, the base. Do it that way. So we're we're steady. Steady going. And we are gonna use up all these trees, but that's that's fine. I don't mind using all the trees up. We're about to get a forester. Um, I think I'm gonna put him up here. Yeah, I think we'll get rid of this grain and we'll put him right here. You can grab all that and they're herbs, so they're a farm thing. Um, and then this will be one where we get a shoot and we'll shoot it down a little bit to here. Not majorly long, just a little way down to there because that makes sense to have it go there. But yeah, so let's let's remove these resources here. Does that cost? It costs gold. Oh God. <laughs> Right, we don't have any gold. Okay, it's interesting. It doesn't cost gold, apparently. When we had two gold, it was saying... It cost two, and then it's three. Huh. How strange. How very strange. Um, right, I don't want these here. Can I remove these? Two. I don't. I don't want them. I don't. Two. Ooh. No, I don't. Uh, I'd like to remove them. Oh, we've completed the stone mastery. Awesome, but I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't quite know how to. Oh, that's interesting. Holding alt allows you to change. I get one for a worker. Hold alt and one for that. That's that's quite cool. But yeah, I'd like to remove them there because I don't particularly use. Um, we want flatten terrain down. There's the one. And uh, remove resources, another one, but I don't really do anything with it. Grass is free. It looks odd on tiles, so we might not do that. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm not quite sure, but yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So now we have masonry, we can build a stone mason. Which requires a worker. We don't have any workers because we are down. So let's upgrade these houses here. I could build more. In fact, I think I will. We'll put three in like so. And uh, I had actually connected them to the grid. That's interesting. Yeah, so maybe they weren't being sold to. Don't know. Don't know. Not sure. Okay. Right. And uh, now we can build a stone mason. Stone mason. Uh, you can live next to that one as well. Yay! And we've unlocked all bits and pieces and all wonderful things and everything is awesome. Cool. So you want to make stone brick. And then we want to grab a couple of workers. So we'll grab three workers and we'll say, you two take stone. Actually, no, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. 
Big stone from here to there. You'll probably get it from the closest place anyway, because that generally is how you work. Yep. Okay, and then we can get a forester. It requires 20 stone and 20 planks, and we don't have enough planks in there. So, we do have enough wheels though, so let's stop whoever's gathering wheels and put you onto tree duty. But this can fill up with wheels as well, and then we'll be fine with that. So, yeah, we got, we got enough wheels. That's fine. Okay, you're not really doing a great deal. Um, should I turn them on? Yeah, I think we'll, we'll do both. Do both. And to let them go. Uh, how much does a forester cost? Doesn't cost any gold, so that's fine. So we can get going and uh, that'll be all right. But um, I think we'll do the forester in the next episode because uh, we've hit the mark. So, yes. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Um, it's uh, an interesting start. Something a bit different. Let me know what you think of uh, how it is. I know it's early days, but let me know what you think of the, the concept of of what I'm trying to achieve here. The whole desert island thing and the not use many conveyor belts and and uh, try and spread the town out. Like this, this is just a little little bit here. See, I can put fences in between these. It's fine. I should have probably moved them down a bit more so we could fence them off and they could have little gardens and things. Uh, kind of like I did a, few, a little while ago, but I'm going to do it better this time. Because uh, we know we're allowed multiple food markets um, and multiple other markets, we could put a market somewhere, have them deliver things, put a general goods store somewhere else, build a couple of different towns. So, might have like the concept I'm, I'm thinking of is probably have forestry in the central area here. This would be the forest area, and then we'll build a couple of houses here, forestry, and have all the goods for the forest there. So. We have a forester coming down, going to the lumber yard. That makes whatever it needs to for that. And then when we go somewhere else, we'll have like the stoneworks. A good little town by that. So then that stoneworks will require planks to be delivered because it's going to need it for the town that's there and other bits and pieces. So that that will be a trade between those two towns. Then we've got another town somewhere else, which is like grain that will dis distribute to the three towns. And that's how I want to build it in my head. So they're all going to be tiny villages with probably no more than five or so houses i know we've got more here but this is just we're just starting we're just starting people will be relocated this is going to be the beachfront i think we're going to move that and these houses move down there so but that, that's kind of the idea we'll have a couple of houses here and there a couple of markets in places selling goods and we'll have everything going around not fussed about getting the happiness up to full whack because with that distribution it's going to be a bit weird which is something that looks different so that's the plan we'll see how we go shall we but yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>